Hi, my name is Sohara Mehros and I'm a freelance journalist from Bangladesh. I'm attending the Global Climate Action Summit as a CCMP Media Fellow. Um, and I just moderated a panel with some of the greatest, biggest leaders in the field of climate action. Uh, there were heads of Oxfam, uh, Greenpeace, um, and, and a, a lot of different organizations who are leading the resistance against climate change. Um, and the best part about it is they're all women. And it was great to be in an all-women panel and um, some of the actors, such as Christiana Figueres, who I saw for the first time in uh, COP21 and was blown away with her uh, motivation for climate action. Um, there was Rachel Kite, um, there was the head of sustainability of the World Bank, um, and these uh, amazingly inspiring women were all just um, sharing their concern for the earth and the amazing work they've done so far um, to fight this climate battle. Uh, and I think it was fantastic to see um, how invested they are and, and how they've gone above and beyond um, as climate actors to save this planet and to do their part. Um, a lot of them come from, um, you know, they, they come from all over the world and, and some, like, you know, there's the, uh, the, the president of the Marshall Islands, one of the most climate vulnerable uh, nations in the world. Uh, she has devised, she has come up with the idea to have the first ever um, online uh, climate summit, which I think is a fantastic idea. The fact that a woman came up with that just makes me really proud. Um, so it was, it was great uh, being on a panel with all of them and moderating the discussion. I think I learned a lot personally because I'm pretty new um, and it's, it's great that I've heard so much about them to see them in person and actually have a conversation with them. And I'm thankful to uh, CCMP for giving me an opportunity like this to be at a forum like the GCAS and meet these amazing world leaders who continue to inspire people like me. So thank you. Um, a lot of this summit has involved pledges from companies and mayors and non-state actors and others. What was important about having women who represent vulnerable communities uh, at this summit? Sure, I think um, it's very important that we have a holistic view of all the communities that are um, affected by climate change and not just the actors but also those at the receiving end. Um, so I think um, a lot of the businesses are doing great work because that's, that's really important because we need the private sector to get engaged um, in, in, you know, in innovating for climate action, in funding climate action. But at the same time, it's also important to have uh, voices of the most marginalized and vulnerable communities. Um, and I think these women uh, they did the great job of that and, and they're, they're actually vouching for those those people who won't get a seat at these tables, um, who won't get to attend these conferences because they can't afford the flights, or probably they're, you know, they're actually fighting climate change, so they don't have the time to be here and talk about it. So I think it's very important that we have uh, women, and not just women, also people from those communities to come here. Many, many times they happen to be women because women are at the forefront of climate um, action and impacts. Um, so it's critical that we have that at the same table, um, alongside business leaders, alongside the big policymakers, so that they really have the view of what people people um, at the forefront of climate change are facing and that makes the whole thing so real and makes action so critical.